If you had pain around the shoulder, shoulder pain is common. The presence of pain around the shoulder does not always mean it is a shoulder problem. The pain may come from the structures inside the shoulder or from the structures outside the shoulder. The pain can be referred to pain from neck problems, cervical spine pathology, or from other distant sites, such as the elbow, the heart, the lung, the diaphragm, and other sites. Elbow pain may be rarely transmitted to the shoulder. The shoulder is a common area for referred pain, and examination of the shoulder should include examination of these other areas. One of these areas that can cause pain referred to the shoulder is the neck, such as a herniated cervical disc or cervical spine pathology. The muscles and the nerves that arise from the neck area will pass through and around the shoulder on their way down the arm, and the pain may radiate down to the shoulder or the scapula. The pain is usually at the superior medial aspect of the scapula. This is an example of the most common area of referred pain from neck pathology and disc herniation. As you can see here, the pain originating from the neck area may overlap the shoulder. Usually, pain in the neck itself is felt on top of the shoulder over the area of the trapezius muscle. Pain from the shoulder itself is usually felt at the top of the arm. If the shoulder moves freely without pain, then the neck is the source of pain. Sometimes these conditions are confusing and difficult to differentiate. They usually overlap, especially when the neck-related shoulder pain causes weakness of the rotator cuff muscles or causes the shoulder to be stiff or causes shoulder impingement. Also, pain arising from the AC joint can radiate into the neck itself. Sometimes, MRI is the only accurate study that helps in differentiating between neck pain and shoulder pain. When you suspect C-spine problems, the physician should examine the patient for findings of gait disturbance and long track signs, which will indicate the patient may have cervical myelopathy. And this is a summary of some long track signs. A positive spelling test will indicate neck pathology, especially nerve root irritation. A positive shoulder abduction test usually indicates neck pathology. The patient symptoms are relieved by shoulder abduction by placing the hand over the head. Heart problems such as myocardial infarction or angina may cause pain radiating to the left shoulder. Irritation of the diaphragm may present itself as shoulder pain. The diaphragm may share the same C4, C5 nerve root innervation. The chest and the upper abdomen should be carefully examined for possible pathology. A bankus tumor is another condition which causes referred pain in the shoulder region. Bankus tumor is a type of lung cancer that forms at the very top of the lung. Shoulder pain may be the first symptoms of bankus tumor. The tumor may invade the brachial plexus, the ribs, the vertebral bodies, the pleura, and the chest wall and causes shoulder pain. 
Sometimes a spine fracture may present itself as shoulder pain. The fracture may irritate the rhomboidus muscle and transmit the pain to the scapula. These are the referred pain regions of the shoulder and the neck and where the pain arises from. And this is how neck pathology can refer pain around the shoulder area. Thank you very much. I hope I was helpful.